Greetings, hello ladies and gentlemen, and today we've received a package all the way from Chile. And what dinosaur company comes all the way from Chile, you might be wondering? Well, it's actually one I never heard of before myself, until now that is. Simon from Wonder Artistic Models reached out to me and asked if he could send me a couple of his dinosaur wooden model kits. At first I was a bit skeptical when reading the initial email because the only wooden dinosaur kit I was ever familiar with was that cheap T-Rex one that everyone had when they were little that always fell apart. Yeah, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. If you were a dinosaur fan, you had one of those. Anyways, I am beyond impressed with Wonders models and I am super excited to have a chance to take a look at some of their kits. And we're going to kick things off with a look at their Stegeros. Building one of these models was certainly a learning experience. I've never built a model kit like this before, but I must say after learning some proper techniques from Simon, this Stegeros went together in about three hours with barely any issues. I must say, the Stegeros wasn't one of my personal favorites when looking through Wonders models on their website, but once built it is extremely impressive and well detailed. And one of the most impressive things about it to me is how well the model stays together. The build is incredibly stable. Each kit comes with lettered wooden trays that you pop out the pieces from and assemble in order. For example, you assemble all the elements from A, then move on to B, then combine A and B, and so forth. Each package also comes with some sandpaper, if it's needed, and a QR code that can be scanned to provide you with a playlist of general tips and tricks for building the model kits. The kits even include extra pieces, which might very well come in handy for the more fragile parts of the build. But now that we've covered just generally how these kits work, let's take a look at the Stegeros skeleton itself. Stegeros Alan Gasson was just described publicly in 2021, just last year. It's a small and very strong strange ankylosaurid, known from a relatively complete skeleton discovered in southern Chile. While already drawing attention with its adorable Aww. little baby size, I mean look at it, I just want to scratch it on the chin and tell it it's a good boy. <coughs> Anyways. While already drawing attention with its small stature, what really makes Stegeros stand out is its freakishly unique club tail, which almost resembles an ancient Aztec weapon called a Macquawittal. I hope I'm saying that right. It's an amazing discovery. My only complaint is just the name of the dinosaur being so similar to Stegosaurus. Stegeros? Stegosaurus? Stegeros? Stegosaurus? Anyone? Just me? Eh, whatever, moving on. If I'm not mistaken, this model is the first Stegeros on the market for collectors, and excellently captures the known fossil material while simultaneously providing an engaging building experience and a dynamic completed display piece. Probably my favorite part of this model is the natural striding pose, which is achieved by pegging the feet into this uniquely shaped base. I really love the shape of this base. It naturally follows the curves in the animal's pose and really drives home that scientific music museum mount look. Probably my favorite part of the assembly process, however, was adding all of the tiny osteoderms across the body. In total honesty, I was dreading it before I actually did it, with how tight and sturdy most of the connections are in this kit. I thought it was going to be a pain on my fingers to attach all of them, but I was pleasantly surprised when they all clicked into place very satisfyingly. They add so much detail to the final model and just look great. The tail was a very interesting assembly as well. With it having the only parts in this particular kit that had adhesive attachments to thicken up the club. I think the shaping is really cool once assembled, and I love the extra detail on the top of the parts. The head is very simple on this model, but it includes a surprise. This model, and most of the other wonder kits actually, includes an articulated jaw for extra posing options. Not going to lie, I was skeptical about the stability of an articulation point, seeing as how these are wooden kits, but I was very pleasantly surprised with how much friction it has and just generally how strong the joint feels. All in all, I am incredibly impressed with this kit and I can't recommend the Wonder models enough to any interested collectors. Just make sure to take your time when assembling them, use the proper techniques, and in the end you will have what is in my opinion an absolutely stunning skeletal mount for your collection. In case you're wondering how big this Stegeros is in particular, it's right about 13 inches long and about 5 inches tall. And for a quick comparison, here's Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> 
A big thank you to Simon for sending this model out for me to review, and I would absolutely love to feature more of Wonder's work on the channel. Let me know what you guys think of this one down below. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and bye bye